The work which needs to be carried out in Wales if we are to avoid further flooding could cost more than £500 million, according to the leader of Rhondda Cynon Taf Council, Andrew Morgan. It's been six months since flooding devastated areas of South Wales, creating a bill of £80 million. Storms Dennis and Kira brought torrential downpours over much of the country. Flood warning systems failed, homes and businesses were caught by surprise, and areas that had not seen flooding for many decades were left underwater. Then we were reminded once again of the precarity of the situation as Pentre was flooded for a third time this year and people in areas all over South Wales desperately tried to save their homes. Mr Morgan has said that climate change is the main cause of extreme weather and a major response is required. And just when we thought we'd had enough difficult weather for 2020, the thunderstorms we have seen of late are a sobering reminder that nature does not care for a moment that we are in the middle of an already difficult period of time. Businesses and homes in South Wales which have already been hit by the effects of COVID-19 have plenty on their plates already without thinking about the prospect of flooding as well. Weather forecasters have lengthened the current weather warning to Monday evening with the Met Office saying that there could be heavy downpours during any of the storms with up to 50 millimetres of rain expected in short bursts of two to three hours. We could also see some flash flooding in places, travel disruption and the slight risk of power cuts as well. If you have any images or videos of the storms you would like to send in to us, please safely do so. The email is news at cardifflocal.tv. Stay safe.